Hi everyone on YouTube. I um, I wanted to touch in um, and just go over this quote from my Grapevine Friday. I, I found this while I was just looking up different things and statistics that pertains to uh, government assistance and I feel like this one was just highly applicable at least to my experience in my opinion so I'm just gonna share it with you I have it written down here so let me get that um, so it says welfare is extremely efficient of replacing self-sufficiency with dependence but relatively ineffective in raising incomes and eliminating poverty so I wanted to share this because I've personally experienced this myself, just being on and off of it, um, government assistance a couple times, and I, sorry about that, I'm just getting a little bit more comfortable. So, let's just focus on the first part, that it replaces self-sufficiency with dependence. I mean, in my life, I, like I've mentioned before, if you've seen my pre previous video, I was heavily against ever, 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 ever having to be on government assistance. So I knew off the bat in my mindset mentality, like everything in me, every fiber of my being just knew this is not something I ever, ever wanted to be relying upon. It's not something I ever, ever wanted to be depended on. However, I know that that is not the case for everyone else, for like people that I grew up with and my relatives it did give them a sense of security and for me like looking back even that security is just pseudo it's just it's just fake a fake sense of security and also a fake sense of self-sufficiency when you're depending on it because if you think about it you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not bashing anybody because I've been there. Okay. I've been there. I'm asking for help. Okay. So what I get is technically nothing that I've earned is I, I'm not, I haven't earned this, the help, the, the, the snap, the cash, but I have not earned it. The only way I will say someone has earned it is if they're doing one of the welfare to work programs and they earn it. But even with that, okay, if I touch on that, specifically and i'm also speaking from experience i watched my husband work 40 hour days okay 40 hour days or 40 hour weeks i should say 40 hour weeks four weeks a month and the most that we got was the allotment was our household unit now i knew for a fact that if he had just went and got a job and was working 40 hours a week, even as a temp. He would have made so much more than that. And it ties back to this quote that it does not raise your income level. It simply does not at all. It doesn't. And it doesn't, um, it doesn't eliminate poverty. Because as I said, I will say maybe... This was a period about, it was a, it was a few months. It was a few months and it, it was kind of frustrating. You know, how we, how we navigated that was during that time I was in a, in my bachelor's program. So I did use my stipend for my student loans to help pay bills. And that was one way to survive. We survived. I also leveraged, you know, whatever, um, that I didn't already use on my credit cards. I used that. I did a little bit of freelancing um, when I could to help, you know, help make ends meet because it it was ridiculous. You know, like I said, it was not covering our rent. And my husband was working a full-time job only making 900 a month, you know. But he, he thought, you know, um, he just, he thought, it was covering it and I told him like no it's not you know but because I was managing our resources the way that I was my household did not feel the weight the stress of what really was going on 
because it was chaotic. Like I said, none of it made sense. Our rent was not covered. It just, it wasn't. And um, I had to get creative. I had to be very resourceful. I had to look at what I have and use that stuff. But anyways, back to this quote. And that that's just part of the reason. And that's just something I really, really want to iterate because I tell, I tell people, whoever that I speak with or people that I know who, um, you know, just expect to retire with social security and 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 government programs you know i even like for veterans i i i'm gonna say this is my opinion and i just believe that this opinion is there's evidence to support it um just even when you look at veterans they they have went they've lost limbs and different things like that you see many of them are homeless there's so many programs for these people for these veterans and they and some of them they 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 just, they just can't even get the help they they have all these programs for them and all these resources and whatever whatnot but it isn't it's not helpful it's not sufficient enough they're homeless they're trying to figure out where their next meals are coming from and these are people that went and fought lost limbs for our liberties our freedoms and, and whatever else you know that is comprised of that and you read articles that talk about near you know near 2000 i think this 2035 was the last one i've seen i'm not sure but if you are aware of the 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 year the date um please comment and let me know um and it was talking about you know they're expecting social security benefits to be depleted by then so yeah like really at the end of the day all of this government um benefits and stuff that's around now i do not believe anyone should be using that to be using something that was designed to be temporary such as government benefits as a permanent solution you know because as we are seeing that that is not what it is coming down to long term you know it's is it's being drained quickly and quickly you know we have to start thinking about our retirement and a lot of us are at an early age a lot of us are putting money towards that so we won't have to rely on the social security and um different things like that because what what's going to be the worst you know thing that okay i'm 60 70 oh okay i'm gonna get social security you know but then inflation you know as time goes on you know social security is not designed to keep up with the rates of inflation you know it's it's based off what you worked during the times you were working and the amount that you earn that's what social security is typically based off of but anyways that's that's kind of just besides the point i just you know for people like me and it's something that i have to learn i mean granted that i never wanted to rely on the government assistance but i just know off facts you know it is not something that is designed to help anyone climb the social ladder and why it's not designed that way because it gives people a fake sense of security and you for a while you enjoy that 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 stability you know for some people it gives them some stability for some people it eases some of the pressure and so it's very easy to find comfort in that in that you know that six months or whatever period time frame that you have it but as soon as you have, you earn a little dollar more or you no longer qualify, boom, they cut you off immediately, right? They cut you off immediately and there is no transitional period. You know, like, yes, they have well for the work. They teach you how to set up your, your resume, make sure your resume is good, make sure you can pass an interview so you can get hired and ideally off of the program. But here's the thing, when you're receiving all of these benefits, you might be getting help with child care help with transportation and things of that nature but as soon as you don't qualify anymore everything is cut off immediately and all of those programs that you had that were attached to those benefits they're gone and that happened to me when you know my husband he came home got his first job I had childcare set up um, I wasn't receiving cash aid anymore I was getting a little bit of food stamps and I was working my my way off you know, after being homeless and different things like that. I was working my way off the system, you know, according to the hours I was working and things like that. And let me tell you, as soon as we reported his job, you know, as soon as he got hired, we reported his job. 
boom, food stamps were just gone, you know. And okay, let's let me just keep going. Food stamps gone. Next thing you know, notification our the child care I was getting paid for is gone. So now I have to find new daycare. I have to you know, I it's it's you 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 get bombarded, you know, for you you get so used to having this system of stability going on here things that are taken care of and it i mean it's just snatched right under the rug from you and now you're here stressing out you don't know how things are going to happen now you might lose your job because now you don't have the child care and or you might just keep getting billed but now you don't know how you're going to pay for the child care and it could be very very stressful and that is the issue no one is prepared once that, you know, that rug gets snatched from under you. And so for some people, what they would like to do or what they would do is just simply quit their job and reapply. Why? Because it is much more comfortable receiving that that benefits, receiving that fake comfort that can be pulled from under you at any point in time. And you're just trying to buy yourself some more time. And that's why I'm here, because those situations are going to happen. And why I do what I do is because I want people to be prepared. I want them to properly manage the resources and tools that they have while they're getting these benefits and showing them ways to where you can leverage these benefits to where when it comes time to make that transition, you will still have some food stamps left over. And I'm, I mean, when I did this, I had enough, um, once, you know, I'm going to be sharing that with you guys, um, relatively soon on how I, I started getting my groceries, my meals and all that stuff t- together prepared and other resources to help me save money we c- when it came to my food. And so that way, whatever benefit amount I was getting for the food, I wasn't utilizing all of it over whatever monthly period that I have. And by the time we transitioned off, I still had some left over to help, you know, help us ease in to this new self, more self-efficient life and financial journey that we were going into. And then, with, you know, whatever cash that I was saving too, I can start was putting cash towards future grocery spending. So I will be sharing that with you guys later. Um, right now, just let me know your thoughts as pertains to this quote that welfare is. Um, let me just let me just get over here and look at it. That welfare is extremely efficient in replacing self efficiency with dependency, and ineffective in raising incomes and eliminating poverty. Now, if anything that I said. Um, resonates with you please comment down below and and just let me know like your experience if you've ever been on uh, government assistance at any point in your life or even um, just watching somebody else did you see their income increase you know or did you still see them struggling did you see them over time come out of poverty did you see when they make the transition from welfare to being on their own was it a smooth transition that they need more help, you know, how did they operate? How did you, how did you cope with that transition off of welfare? And what are some things that you would share with somebody else? Like, what are some things that you wish you would have known before the transition came and how you would prepare today? Because essentially, um, that's what I'm going to be getting to, you know, helping people prepare for these things because who knows when they're, when they're going to pull the plug, you know, if social security is going to be gone by 2035, um, you know, all, all these other benefits. What's, what's going to happen with all these? There's going to be more regulations. There's probably going to be more, call for, you know, more strict rules and different things like that. It's probably not going to be as accessible um, as it is today, you know. So we just got to learn to manage what we have. And a lot of things will turn in our favor. We'll We'll start having more peace, being more at peace and with things and we'll be more calm you know so i hope that i mean you got something out of this today um 
and please 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 share with me your experiences because I know for a fact that I'm not the only one who struggled on this stuff um, or have seen other people on it so I look forward to hearing from you guys and thank you and I'll see you next time bye